Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at direct current versus alternating current, or in other words, DC versus AC. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is look at the definitions and the circuit symbols of DC and AC. And then we'll look at what DC and AC look like on an oscilloscope display. So direct current, first of all, DC, is when the current flows in one direction all the time. For example, a battery is a DC supply. So in the majority of circuits that we talk about in the electricity topic, we're going to have DC, direct current. And that's because our current, i.e. our electrons, are traveling in one direction at all times. And here's the circuit symbol for a DC supply. So you'll notice we've got two little circles with a positive and a negative terminal. And that is just the same as having a battery. So you might also see a DC supply drawn as a bigger line for the positive terminal and a smaller line for the negative terminal, just like a normal cell. If that's DC, then what is AC? Well, alternating current AC is when the current will flow one way for a period of time before stopping and flowing in the other direction. It says this flow of current going back and forth is continuous. For example, the mains is an AC supply. So every time you plug a device into the wall, you're using alternating current. And an alternating current, current will change direction every fraction of a second. And for typical main supplies in the UK, current is going to change direction about 50 times each second. So it's this back and forth flow of current. You'll notice the circuit symbol here has, again, two little circles with a sort of squiggly line or little wave pattern in the middle. And this is to represent the changing current or the changing voltage. And you might also see this circuit symbol with a circle around it sometimes. So just know that it's representing the same thing. Next, we're going to look at what these things look like on an oscilloscope display. So if you connect a DC supply such as a battery to an oscilloscope, then what you'll see is something like this, a straight line on the display. So it says a DC supply appears as a straight line on an oscilloscope display. This shows that the output voltage is constant. So our current is constant and that means our output voltage is constant as well. If however you were to take an oscilloscope and connect it to a signal generator, which is connected to the wall, i.e. the mains, then what you would see is something like this instead. So we've got a wave pattern here, which actually shows that the output voltage varies with time. So remember this is called alternating current, which is changing current. So that means there's going to be a changing voltage as well. So this shows a changing voltage on your oscilloscope display. Just to show you a little demonstration of this to prove that it's true, notice that we've got a circuit here connected to an oscilloscope. So we've got a battery, a resistor and a switch, and this is connected to an oscilloscope display. So if we use our battery and we close the switch, you'll notice that the line jumps up from zero volts to some non-zero voltage up here, which is a straight line showing a constant voltage. If however we open the switch and replace our DC battery with an AC supply, then you'll notice if I close the switch, we then get a wave pattern showing that the output voltage is not constant, that it's changing. Going back to the notes, we're just going to briefly look at some new terminology to do with AC signals. So there's something called the peak value of the voltage and the declared value as well. So it says here that the peak value of the voltage is greater than the declared value of the voltage. The declared value is about 70% of the peak voltage. So what we mean by these terms is, if you plug something into the wall to get alternating current, then there is a maximum voltage you can get across your device, which is called the peak voltage. But it's not very often that you'll get that maximum voltage across your device. You're more likely to get the declared value of the voltage across your device. So a good way of thinking about declared value is almost like an average value when you plug something into the wall. And that's because remember, the voltage is going to be changing for alternating current. So we can estimate to a good certainty that in the UK, what you'll get for a declared value of the voltage is around 230 volts and a peak value of around 325 volts. But as we just said, you're very unlikely to get 325 volts across your device. But it's a good rule of thumb to think about mains voltage as being 230 volts. So in this graph of voltage over time, you'll see that the declared value here is around 70% of the peak voltage. And this is our AC signal here. It goes on to say the declared value of 230 volts is most often used in calculations involving mains voltage. So if you ever see the word mains in a question, then you should be thinking 230 volts. And how will you remember that number of 230 volts? Well, a good way I like to remember it is using the joke to do with the dentist, which is I went to the dentist because my tooth hurty. 
i.e. 230. So some of you might appreciate that, or you can just remember the number itself. Lastly, it says here an AC supply also has a frequency, which is the number of times the current changes direction in one second. UK mains has a frequency of about 50 hertz. So as we said earlier, this means that the current will change direction about 50 times each second. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.